What's up, everybody? Brandon Burbank here, and I am excited so much for this opportunity to give you guys another presentation on from Comeback to Success. The title of this presentation is Hustle to Live, Why I Sacrificed My Financial Health to Change the World. Now, that's a really big question because I think it's, a, it's an important thing to think about because when it comes down to why I've sacrificed so much of my financial health, my financial well-being, and my peace of mind because that comes with having money, um, I've done it because I want to help the mental health community in the way that's going to help them grow, become the best version of themselves, try to make that comeback to success when they faced with uh, financial hardships or even like mental health struggles as well. Because there's a lot of people out there that have been experiencing with a lot of mental health struggles, especially during the pandemic and the world that we live in today, uh, whether you've gone through hospitalizations or trying to um, get through just different mental health struggles out there, being diagnosed with a mental illness, how you can learn how to manage that condition. All those things have been uh, kind of takes you off off your path and you have to kind of learn how to nav re-navigate, reorganize and calibrate yourself. And so that's the reason why I titled it this presentation today. With that being said, let's get into it. Um, the speech is what what's in it for you guys today. Uh, basically, this gives you perspective to analyze and understand that living paycheck to paycheck by working various jobs is the reality for many out there in our world today. And the sacrifices that I made and am continuing to make in order to help those living with a mental illness or mental health struggle to open their eyes so that they can become successful. So I know that was a lot, but... In a nutshell, it's it's to help the people that are having mental illnesses or mental health struggles so that they can realize, open their eyes and see that they have what it takes. They have the potential to be successful, to make that comeback to success. Um, to give you some background context, though, before I talk about some of the various jobs that I've done in my lifetime in order to pay the bills, essentially, and grow as a person and find that, find that sense of accomplishment as well as the ability to put food on the table and pay rent. Um, I started a business over three years ago titled Comeback to Success. It became official this February 2022 in the city of Long Beach, California. And I had a dream to inspire those who live with a mental illness like myself, who want to be successful, happier, and change their life to become the best version of themselves. In other words, at Comeback to Success, my mission is bridging the gap for those impacted by mental illness by providing the right products and services to make a comeback to success. On that note, I will go over some of the sacrifices and definite decisions. That's the word right there, guys. Keyword, definite decisions. And I, I've I decided that I wanted to do these, make these decisions in my life in order to pursue this goal, pursue this passion of mine. So the definite decisions where I have followed through that I have made in my life to continue to pursue this dream of being an entrepreneur and making it become a reality. So some of the key things that I've sacrificed in my journey that I wanted to bring up with you guys today is this free college education at a university, a getting a, a bachelor's degree. And I chose to pursue something different, which is having this business created and continuing to see it develop and grow. Publishing my first book, Come Back to Success, Relentless Commitment for a Better Tomorrow, last April, 2021 which here's the book here just to give you guys a quick perspective as well because the book published on Amazon and it helps to inspire and motivate those by giving clarity and vision so that people can be successful and also living kind of going full circle with the the title hustle to live living paycheck to paycheck folks that's something that is very 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 vivid and clear in my journey and what it's taken, where life has taken me uh, at, an, at a very unfortunate and the reality, the harsh reality that it's taken me because I've had to make sacrifices with my time and energy, putting it into various things when I totally would like to have had more financial security, but the reality is that that's just not the case right now. So uh, moving on, though, to multiple hospital 
hospitalizations, hospital trips to the psych ward, where a lot of people can relate to that, resonate when faced with a mental health struggle. Uh, those of you that have gone through that, I, I feel for you and I can re relate to that. Um, those that are going through that or might be considering going through that, um, just take it one step at a time. The mental health treatment centers that um, have helped me grow and facilitate growth, especially by providing the right products and services um, as a uh, individual that is living with bipolar disorder. The halfway house, which was a very, very, very difficult experience to go through and having having to navigate that alone and without family or friends support as has been very very difficult to focus on making moving forward the struggle and stress that this brings with living in such a an unbalanced place as well so that's just something to think about now moving on to the the Basically, some of the various jobs that I've worked consisted of the entertainment industry uh, here in Long Beach at Thunder Studios, automotive sales industry at various Volvo dealership in Seattle and also at CarMart in Burlington, Washington, auto detailing, Big Penny Car Wash, warehousing, Revolve, and CapTech Pharmaceuticals, grocery retail that focused on Fred Meyer, Ralph's, QFC, fast food industries, working at McDonald's and even at Dave's Hot Chicken and many more. What did they teach me? These are sacrifices that make up the end results of success. The effort of trying to grow yourself personally and consists of dedicating yourself to things that you don't want to do, period. I emphasize that because doing the things that you don't want to do in life that's that's the reality for a lot of us in life and we have choices every day in how we make that and how we see we want to reap those rewards and benefits through our sacrifices or do we just let it continue to consume us and let us let it control us and having the natural and the the ability for that free willpower to let it let a bigger purpose a bigger idea drive you when focused on going through these hardships and financial hardships whether it be mental health struggles financial um, unbalance and our inconsistency those are the things that helps draw you towards making that comeback to success by putting in the back of your mind that you are only doing this temporarily it can help give you a sense of relief when the pain and discomfort is hard to bear and you feel like quitting. Now, to emphasize that a little bit more, when you are doing this temporarily, I'm talking about doing jobs that aren't very the most enjoy enjoyment, enjoy enjoying and fulfilling because you in in order to become a big successful person, you have to make sacrifices and do things that you don't want to do, and that's the bottom line and I speak from experience. On that for example when I had to switch gears from working in various industries at various different times to pay the bills I was forced to accept this mindset in order to put food on the table and ensure that I can pay rent what does this teach you that's the million dollar question folks that the persistence and account and accountability for your actions and desires are all boiled down to how you determine your success, whether you will continue to push onward when it gets tough or to give up. Finally, simplify your life as this will help you relieve a lot of unnecessary stress so that you can make that comeback to success. So as we wrap up this video, I just wanna say thank you so much guys for taking the time to watch this. And if you would like to donate to my business campaign, please feel free to reach out. I will provide links for my Patreon page as well as my GoFundMe page down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay blessed. Take care.